Good morning all my Ali Pallies and thank you for joining me today. Now I'm sorry I've been so absent as you know um, I've got a lot going on here. Um, my dad had a massive stroke last week and it really has been quite severe so he's he's in hospital he's going to be in hospital for a number of weeks at the moment he's not able to speak to me he's not able to move much um he's not it, it, one side of his body is unable to move he does grip my hand um and he's having to be fed by a tube um so it's been a really difficult time um and i've been back and forth to the hospital but i really want to get going with my videos because i know my dad would want me to do that and also it really helps me to keep going and you'll have to excuse me because at the moment i've got an unending tap of tears that keep just um coming on spontaneously and i'm really sorry because you tune in for inspiration and at the moment yeah <laughs> i'm not sure but anyway i did have some updates um and i did have some um makeup so i want to get onto that right and i just want to say thank you for all your messages of support um the makeup has really kept me going i've made a few orders in the last couple of weeks and it gives me something to kind of think about other than hospitals and you know every day got to do this got to do that so i really it really does help and it's helping me to be on here as well um and just thank you for listening so let's get on first of all i want to give you a pat mcgrath update and i'm going to sorry but i'm going to start off with um something that's not so good okay so um i ordered a Pat McGrath kit called um, Opulence Obsessions or Obsession Opulence Kit um, in the Black Friday sale. And yeah, I got 50% off. This is my joke because actually it wasn't 50% off. Um, but I only got 50% of the items. So basically... Um, I ordered this opulence kit, which came with two lipsticks, which are here. And as you know, the astral, I think it was called the astral quad, but it was purple and teal. And the whole kit was something like £66. So you got the two lipsticks and the quad. And when it arrived, there was no quad in the parcel. So I contacted Pat McGrath and said, is, is is the quad coming in a separate parcel? What's going on? And they said, thanks for reaching out to us. Oh, I can't stand that. Anyway, thanks for reaching out to us. I'm sorry that you didn't receive your quad. Um, it's now sold out um, and we're trying hard to find it for you. That was a week ago. I've emailed them and said, any update? You know, I've paid for this not got a reply so i'm not very impressed with pat mcgrath you know these are luxury items and they're not cheap and i've paid good money um in the black friday sale or whatever sale it was before to get these items and they don't seem to be trying very hard to actually complete my order um or keeping me up to date with their communication um, and you know that once before I ordered something from Pat McGrath and I got a lipstick in there that wasn't mine and I thought it was a free gift. So, you know, I think they've got all these lovely makeup items, but their packing department leaves a lot to be desired. Okay. And when you're spending that amount of money on luxury makeup items, they should make sure that the whole kit is in your package. What more can I say? So I have got these two lipsticks. Um, at this rate, they're going to go back used because they're not trying to complete my order 
or locate this quad for me and I'm very angry. But I will show you the swatches of the lipsticks that I have. Um, this one is called Elson. They do feel beautiful on the lips. They're the matte ones. That's Elson and it's a classic red. It looks really beautiful on. And the other one, which I've worn quite a bit this week, actually, is called... Flesh 5. Flesh 5. And I think this is beautiful. Looks beautiful on. It's a sort of lovely burnt, sort of dusty purple, I would say. So, yeah. And they feel beautiful on. They are lovely. But, excuse me for not being very enthusiastic. Because right now, I've paid £66 for two lipsticks. Which is probably the full price, actually. Um, so, no sale for me. I just basically for, paid full price for two lipsticks that I wasn't going to order. I only got them because they were in a kit with the eyeshadow cord I wanted. So, Pat McGrath, not impressed. And if you see this review, please update me as soon as you can with what's gone on and whether you've managed to find my eyeshadow quad. Or if not, what you're going to do about it. Are you going to refund me the money? Are you going to refund me half the money? You know, let's be a bit more proactive here. Just not, oh, sorry. Um, sorry it wasn't there. And now we've sold out and we'll try and get hold of it as soon as possible. Not good enough. Not for that kind of luxury makeup items. Anyway, so sorry, not impressed. And I'll do a glowing review if I like the products when it arrives. Um, but be very careful ordering from Pat McGrath because and check that you've got everything in your parcel. That's all I can say. Right, moving on. Complete opposite side of the spectrum now. I went to Aldi's last week, um, at the beginning of this week, and I did a bit of a haul because they had loads and loads of skincare and makeup items. And one of the things I got was this, which is a kind of fleecy um, pyjama set. And the reason I got this, one is because I do get quite cold at night and I could have done with another kind of fleecy pyjama set. But also I thought it really matched my my um, silk mask that I got from Charlotte Tilbury, which is blue and it's got stars on it. So I just thought, yeah, that'd be great. So, and it is, it's really comfortable, really warm. So that was one of the things I got. And I'm gonna take you through all the other things because this week I have been using I always use my Charlotte Tilbury night cream, but I have also been using some Aldi skincare that I bought. And I have to say that I am really, really impressed. Um, so this is what I got. First of all, I got the Lacura Pink Clay Hot Cloth Cleanser. And it comes with a muslin cloth. And this was $3.99. Most of the things were $3.99 with an exception of one item, I think. So this is the Pink Clay Cleanser. It smells absolutely delicious. And I'm trying to remember what the smell reminds me of because it, it definitely reminds me of something. I know what it reminds me of. It's suddenly come to me. If anybody has ever had the Molten Brown hand wash um, in, I think it's called Vitamin C, that kind of lemony orange smell that's what it reminds me of and i'm really impressed so this was 3.99 massive size with a muslin cloth um and looking at the ingredients this is what impresses me it's not just about the fact that the items are cheap um and affordable but the the actual ingredients in them are not skimping on the ingredients so this does have a bit of alcohol in it to keep it basically to keep it from going off but it has things like cacao seed butter a 
And a lot of these things are at the top of the ingredients. They're not like, you know, sometimes you get skincare ingredients and they're all buried at the bottom, which means that there's a tiny amount in there and probably not enough to be of any use. They're not, they're actually at the top. So we've got um, cacao seed butter. You have got um, aloe leaf juice powder. You've got, um, uh, there's, there's things here that I can't read. Garcinia mangostana fruit extract, Punica granatum fruit extract, Simic. I can't read that one, but lots of fruit extracts anyway, and seed oils. Um, and it just, it smells beautiful. It really pepped up my complexion. I think it's really, um, it basically says, specially formulated to gently cleanse and exfoliate with the help of the exfoliating muslin cloth with cocoa butter, pink clay, Australian kakudu plum, and extracts of bamboo, macadamia, mangosteen and pomegranate um really really good okay there is one must buy that i'm coming to so bear with me but i think this is really good really um good price um and you know for a cleanser that you're going to wash off why go and buy something that is 10 times the price when you're actually going to be taking it off, using it to take off your makeup anyway. But it is really, really good. Um, the next thing I got was the pink clay. Again, another pink clay product. Refining and mattifying exfoliating face scrub. This really helped to um, exfoliate. Now, I actually am not a fan of chemical exfoliants. Um, they're okay and I've used them, but I like the good old fashioned scrub ones. Now, if you've got really sensitive skin, which I don't, I have sensitive eyes, then you may want to give this a miss because it is one of the physical scrubs, but I actually prefer physical scrubs and I think they do a better job of getting rid of those dead skin cells and keeping the the turnaround of your skin. <clears throat> um, now this, again, it smells, let me, smells very similar to the hot cloth cleanser. And again, it's got pink clay, Australian kakudu plum extract, jojoba and castor beads to provide a gentle physical exfoliation for softer and smoother skin. And I've used this twice now. I used it this morning and my skin feels really soft and smooth. Again, $3.99, great stuff. Now, moving on, I got the Pink Clay and Golden Glow Multi Mask, and this was six pounds. And again, I tried this the other night, it feels great. Now, one little, little warning. Um, I picked this up without the box and she went and got the box. Um, because there was no barcode and actually I wish I'd gone back and got one sealed in the box because someone had opened this and basically because they'd opened it in a kind of haphazard way that the two there's two different masks in here so they kind of got mixed up um they kind of got mixed together a little bit so yeah, if you're going to get this, just make sure that you get one in a sealed box because, you know, in Aldi, people take things out and smell them and whatever, and then they put it back. And I think they put it back the wrong way round, so it got a little bit mixed up. But that's just, you know, if you get one in a sealed box, you're not going to have that problem. So the pink clay is for refining pores. It's really great if you've got combination skin. You can put the pink clay one... At, down your nose and on your chin area and I put it a little bit round here and then the golden glow one for areas that get drier and you need a little bit more um a little bit more glow and a little bit more moisture really good um six pound for that one which is expensive for Aldi but um and I've just got to work out how to get this back on um 
really good and really good dupe of far more expensive products that do similar things. Now, let me just try and get this top on. Now, this one, again, let me just read you what it says about this. It's formulated, so the pink clay mask is formulated with exotic kakudu plum, witch hazel, designed to help draw out impurities, refine pores for a clearer and brighter complexion. And the brightening golden glow mask is formulated with hyaluronic acid and extracts of mangosteen and pomegranate, designed to help hydrate skin and enhance skin's radiance. So very good if you have got combination skin and you need a mask that is going to tighten up your pores and draw out impurities in oily areas of the skin around the nose, but actually you've got dry cheek areas. This is a really good buy because you've got both, both um, masks in one. Okay, so moving on. Now, I'm coming up in a minute. Not the next one, but the, the next one to that to a must buy. Um, next up, I got this because my sister um, got this. Um, I recommended it to my sister, first of all. And my sister uses this every day and she loves it. It's one of her, can't you know my sister, I've told you, she'll get one thing and she'll use it and use it and use it until it's done and then she'll get more. So she asked me to pick her one of these up and I thought I'm gonna get myself one and I've been using it as a serum in the day. And this is Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Multi-Intensive Serum with Peptide Complex Coenzyme Q10 um, 8 Aqua Rich. And what it says is, um, the biopeptide Mimax promotes active skin relaxation, therefore helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines. Uh, Coenzyme Q10 plays an important role in stimulation of the skin's biological functions. The formulation with Aqua Rich, a deep moisturising complex from black oats with pro-vitamin B5 and precious macadamia nut oil provides 24-hour moisturisation effect and helps improve the skin's complexion. Now, this costs about £2.49. It's ridiculous. They do a matching skin cream and I think they do a night cream. Really, really good. I've been using it all week. It feels great. Now for my must have buy. And just excuse me, because I'm going to go and just double check the price of this. Okay, so we're moving on to the absolutely you must buy. This is fantastic, right? This is the Lacura Overnight Repair Concentrate. And I have been using this. It is amazing. £4.99. pence. Okay, this, the ingredients in it are just out of this world. Um, if, you, if you know, looking back, I've used a lot of um, oils like jojoba oil and camellia oil and stuff like that on my skin. This has got so many great ingredients in it. I don't know seriously how they do it for the price, but I have been putting this under my Charlotte Tilbury night cream at night. And boy, has it made a difference. I'm just going to read you the ingredients that are in this. And I, as I said, I really don't know how they do it for 4 99 So it's got triglycerides. It's got olive oil. It's got rosehip fruit oil. It's got evening primrose oil. It's got jojoba seed oil. It's got um, salvia hispanica chia seed oil, it's got hemp seed oil, it's got marigold oil, it's got vegetable oil, lavender oil, um, geranium oil, rosemary oil and vitamin E and then it's got you know the limonel and linalol and citronol um, to, uh, right at the bottom but all the good ingredients are right at the top. There are doesn't look like there's any nasties it's just a combination of really good oils it smells delicious but they're all it's not perfume it's all it's just all um essential oils it really feeds the skin and i've noticed a massive difference and 
just wonderful, 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 wonderful. Really go and grab yourself some of this stuff. And it's really helped my skin to glow. And I just put a few drops before putting on my Charlotte Tilbury night cream and it just smells and look and does my skin really good. Look, I just put that into my hand. I've been swatching, obviously that's where I swatch the lipsticks. Really lovely. Um, I just love it. I'm just gonna stock up on that because that is gonna be my use every night. Definitely must buy. Okay, moving on now to some makeup. And I'm gonna show you what I got from makeup. I just put my glasses on to look for this. So you've seen me. I've been caught out on my pairs of glasses. Okay, so next on, um, you'll have seen my post the other day and I was a bit cruel because I asked you what eyeshadow I was wearing because I really knew that you were all going to say Charlotte Tilbury. This is such a good formula that it looks like Charlotte Tilbury. And yet it was 3 .99. Here it is, the Naturals palette by Lacura, 3 .99 from Aldi. And the colours are just beautiful. Just let me just fiddle about with this box and I'll be right. Okay, back. so in it you get, you actually get brushes as well. They're not brilliant, but they're not those silly little um, applicator sponges. They're, they are brushes, which again, for 3 .99. you can't really complain. Right, I just think that this is a beautiful combination of colours and I'm gonna swatch you this. And I thought that this was a bit pillow talky. Um, but you know, this this just is a lovely compact palette with some really beautiful shades. So let me just swatch these for you. Um, and this is what I was wearing in that picture. So let me just, I'll swatch this on the palest part of my arm for you. So we have the lightest shade called Halo, which is there. Then we have Prosecco, which is beautiful. And I think I put this one on my mobile lid. I'm going to take a photo in a second because I know it's not brilliant light again. Okay, then we have Rose and I love this colour. This is to me is very Pillow Talk-esque. A lovely peachy shade. And then we have Auburn. which is a kind of dark bronze shade. Then we have Penny, which I haven't used yet actually, but so it's, it's a sort of less red version of the one above. And then last we have Latte, which is a really good transition shade. Let me just show you that. Is there. I'm just going to take a photo of that and I'll be right back. Okay, this video is going to be quite long. I'm just talking you through all my haul products. But if you catch me for the next one, I'm going to do a second video um, this morning straight on from this one and um, I'm going to do you a look using this palette um, and some other items that I got in my Aldi haul. Okay and next on in um, I picked up a couple of the mascaras and you can see what this is supposed to be a dupe of just by looking at the packaging. So this is definitely supposed to be a dupe of the Benefit mascaras. Now I got two of them. I got one that's called Out There and I got another one that's called Larger Than Life. So out there is supposed to be length and volume. And this one is supposed to be um, more volumizing and drama. Um, 
I must keep a lookout because I'm sure they must do a, a curling one as well. So this one is called Too Legit. And it's got this kind of a brush here. And then this one is called Larger Than Life. And it's got this kind of a brush. Now I've tried these both. So the good points are they do not clump. They're really good, don't clump. The brush is pretty good. Um, possibly feel a bit on the dry side when you're putting them on. They don't feel, they feel like you need to do a couple of coats because they feel quite, the formula feels quite dry. Um, but really good results. They don't clump. And I'm just going to check the price for you because considering really you're supposed to use a mascara and then chuck it out after a month because of eye hygiene. These are a great option to just get, use for a month and chuck out. You're not going to worry about chucking these out. I'm just going to double check the price for you. Okay, so these were £5.99 each. So I say, use them for a month, chuck them out. They are really good. I will show you in my next video what they look like. Okay, so moving on. Then I got, I think this was the last item that I got actually which is the Lacora Liquid Illuminator. And I think this came in five shades. These remind me very much of the um, Barry M Liquid Illuminators and also the ones by Iconic London. Um, nothing wrong with these. Um, yeah, I was just looking to see if there's any particularly unusual ingredients, but they, they look to be the same sort of ingredients that you would find in any liquid illuminator. And I got this one in, sorry, let me just check the champagne. Um, now you could do a lot with these liquid illuminators. You can either just dab them on your cheeks to give you a highlight, but you can also mix these in with your foundation if you want your foundation to have a bit more of a glow, or you can put it on as a primer. Don't be alarmed if you put it on as a primer because you'll look a bit like the Tin Man when you put it on. But if you've got a foundation, a few of you said about Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Foundation, that it was a little bit too matte on you and it made you look a bit too flat. If you've got a matte foundation that you think makes you, you want a bit more glow and you put something like that on underneath, it will really bring out the glow and just take that matte, matteness off your foundation. So basically you think, well, if you want to glow, why would you get a matte foundation? But the thing is about matte foundations is that they last longer on your skin. They last longer because they don't melt as much. So this is a way of getting the best of both worlds, um, is to put this on, let it dry down a bit so it doesn't make your foundation melt and then put on your matte foundation and it'll give you a glow to your foundation, but you'll still have a matte foundation that will last longer. Or you can just dab it on the high points of your face. Um, that's gonna last you a long time. Again, I'm just going to go and check the price. Okay, they are three ninety nine each, so really good, um, and it's going to last you a long time. It says here six months. I do find the Barry M drops actually did go bad after about six months, but you know, at three ninety nine, you're not going to worry. If you bought this from Iconic um, for a lot more you might be a bit more worried about it going off within six months, but those ones, you can just chuck them out for that price. So that is my Aldi haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as soon as I get the Pat McGrath eyeshadow, I'm not gonna do a look um, until I've got the complete thing. I'm not gonna do um, lip swatches and stuff until I've got the complete set. When you send me Pat McGrath, my eyeshadow, I will do a look on here and show my viewers what it looks like. I've given them a hand swatch 
If you want to look, send me the eyeshadow and send it quickly, please. I'm sure you can get your hands on one if you tried plenty of PR that you send. I'm sure you can find one eyeshadow for me and then I will do you a review. Okay, um, I'm going to go. Here's Jack saying hello. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to do a get ready with me and I'm going to use my Tom Ford foundation and I'm going to put on this little beauty today and I'm going to use... I'm going to use another one of my um, lipsticks that I got um, from Lisa Eldridge. I always forget her name. I don't know why. So, but for now, I'm going to say goodbye and catch me very shortly for my today's Get Ready With Me. Take care, everyone. Do you want to say goodbye, Jack? Bye. Take care. Love you all. Mwah!